All right, so today we're doing that Speedy 300 X-axis motor replacement. So to start, we need to loosen up these two top screws that slide. All right, we'll take these all the way out. Put them in your dish. And then we'll back out this tensioner screw all the way. <clears throat> Keep that all together. All right, and then we're gonna remove this connector and remember how it goes and be very careful of these prongs on the inside. All right, now we can slide the motor back and it loosens the belt and we can drop down and then we'll remove this connector carefully. And now your motor is out. Now to put it back in, we'll stick it up under the belt and you want the inside of the belt to go into that opening right there. We'll stick the motor up in there. There are grooves that slide, so it will it will stick up in there. Sometimes it's hard to find them. Boom, it'll stick. Then you grab your screws. And then you gotta find the holes, thread them through. Don't tighten them all the way down. take our tensioning screw make sure that that washer is on the end and feed this through and then you'll measure the tension from washer to washer it's about 0 0.42 0 0.43 inches might have to mess with it a little bit Feel the tension, make sure it feels good. And then you can tighten these screws back down and that'll keep the tension in place. All right, and then we'll go back through and we'll put our connectors back. Remember how they go. Be careful when you do this one with those prongs in there. And then you'll take the, the belt on the side with all your springs and you'll reconnect it to the other side. I always do the back springs first, it's a lot easier. And there you go.